Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Slappy McPhee, and we're back here again to go ahead and do another tutorial. Uh, this time around, we're going to go ahead and kind of do an abridged version similar to the initial install video that we posted up recently. Um, this one's going to actually go over using uh, the SD Formatter tool and also um, WinDisk Imager 32 and uh, that kind of stuff. So, first thing that we want to do is that uh, as we kind of discussed previously in the other video, the SD Formatter, the most recent version that you can find is SD Formatter 5. And there's been some various issues that people have had with it. Um, so we recommend that you actually use SD Formatter 2. So we also have a copy of that. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the browser and head on over to our downloads. And we recently added an entry for that. So the SD Formatter 4 utility for Windows. We're going to go ahead and download. And you'll go ahead and save the file, extract it, and install it. I'm not going to go through uh, those steps. Um, but it's pretty cut and dry and plain and simple. Once you have SD Formatter installed, you're going to go ahead and want to place your SD card into your reader. And for me, it says you. I actually set this up this way because of uh, trying to prevent. I actually have it hard coded so that my SD cards are always uh, the U drive. I did that in Windows. Uh, did that so that I don't run into any situations where I plug in an external hard drive and accidentally overwrite it. Because unlike Etcher, one of the dangerous things with Win32 Disk Imager is that you do have to pay close attention. It does not give you any notification about large drives. So in this case, uh, you can go ahead and format. Now, the reason why we talk about doing this, right, is that they say that you shouldn't format a, an SD card too many times because then it can wear out the card. However, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be formatting it that often. Um, even during a lot of our testing and, and work, uh, we've only actually, well, personally, I myself doing this now for about three years, four years now, doing a retro pie and then moving over to our build. I've only burned out two or three cards, um, but and that was with a lot of formatting and a lot of writing. I prefer to do this because I've just seen some really weird behavior sometimes. Because yes, when you use Win32 Disk Imager um, or Etcher to write with, it will go ahead and um, do a format during that time. But like I said, I've just seen some really weird behavior happen. So that's the reason why we go ahead and, and take care of it this way. So we're just going to do a quick format. And we're good to go with this. And now we can exit. So now with Win32 Disk Imager, you're going to go ahead and head back to the website and download the copy of the image. Once again, as we discussed previously in the other video, um, you can use the MD5 checksum utility and you can verify that it matches correctly. And, and that's matching the gzip file, right? So not the extracted file once you download it. Because once you download it and then you manipulate it by doing an extraction, it changes that, that hash for the file. Okay. So once you have downloaded your file, You've verified your checksum. You've gone ahead and you've uh, taken care of the situation with extracting it. You can now go to it and go ahead and write with Win32 Disk Imager. So I've already got one extracted, obviously, from the master build. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up Win32 Disk Imager. Right, and open up the file. Right, and we're going to go ahead and write that file. Okay. 
and we're going to go ahead and let this write and um, through the magic of video we will come back with this once it's completed all right and we're back and as you can see the write's been done successfully so we can go ahead and click ok and exit and now we can go ahead and remove the card and plug it in for first boot and that about wraps it up with that um, so like I said, it was this one was kind of more of a quick and dirty to kind of show you um, how to use Win32 Disk Imager along with the uh, SD formatting utility. Um, you know, everybody's got their their own little flavor that they like to use. Uh, as you saw in the previous video, if you happen to watch it, Qubit really likes the uh, AOMI uh, Partition Manager. Um, you can also use Disk Part, which if uh, people want to see how to use Disk Part, uh, it's fairly quick and easy to do as well so leave down uh, in the comments below if you want to see that or not and we look forward to seeing you again on the next video